This, you know, sleep is also a sister of death. It's very near the death. Because we live, we, 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 we don't have the self-consciousness. So that is actually something very near to death. Oh, that is why this word wafat. So that the ajl, the time which has been fixed for you in this world should be completed. If you have to live here 30 years, well, every night Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take the possession of your souls. Then, you know, again in the morning, he will return your souls to you and you will be again, you know, a, a moving human being. So that that period which has been assigned beforehand, that is completed. Then to him is going to be your return. And then he will inform you of what you had been doing. You know, the, all the basic tenets and articles of faith are being repeated and repeated and repeated. I told you that is the main subject matter of the Makki Surahs. Allah, His unity, His attributes, Akhirah, resurrection, judgment, day of judgment, then the Jannah, and the, you know, the Jahannam, the hell and paradise and heaven. These are the subjects, repeated, repeated, in different modes, in different styles. Ek pool ka mazmu ho to so rang se bandhu. That should be repeated. But not repeated in the same way or on the same words. Repeated. That is called tasreeful ayat. We, we, we take various modes of expression. We keep going changing the modes of expression. Kazalika nusarriful ayat. Wahu al kahiru fauq aibadihi. And he is fully controlling you. Now this Tahir, you know, actually whosoever is absolutely controlling. Nobody can go beyond his authority. Over his servants. And he sends upon you guardians. Now these guardians are of two types. The angels. Number one, who guard our lives because that Ajal al Musamma is to be completed. They are guarding you. You don't need any other guards. Allah is guarding you. No bodyguards. Because you cannot be killed before that appointed time. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent upon you the guardians. They are guarding you. They are, they are, they are your bodyguards. And secondly, they are guarding or recording all what you are doing and all what you are uttering. Alaykum hafaza. Wa huwa al qahiru fawqa ibadihi. Wa yursiri alaykum hafaza. Hatta iza jaadakum al maut. Till that time that the appointed hour for him comes. Tawaffat hu Rasulullah. Now, the, our messengers, now this means the, the angels, the angels of death. They will take the possession of their soul, wala you farretun, and they are not going to omit anything, commit any mistake. Summa ruddu yallahi maulahumul haq. And then they will be returned to Allah, who is their protector, and who is the true protector, and true, true guardian, and true sustainer. Maulahumul haq. Alalahul haq. Listen to what 
ٹو ہم بلونگ آل اتھارٹی جسٹ امیجن ہاؤ مری ٹائمس دس از کمنگ ان الحکم اللہ الحک اسرا الحاسبین اینڈ ہی از دسوف ٹیسٹ ان ٹیکنگ اکاؤنٹ ان ریکنگ ہی ول ناٹ نیڈ مچ ٹائم ٹو پریپیئر یور بیلنس شیٹس آف وٹ یو ارن وٹ یو لاسٹ ہی ول ان نو ٹائم ہی ول ریکن اینڈ ان نو ٹائم ہی ٹیک آل دی اکاؤنٹس آف آل دی پیپل قل من ينجيكم من من ظلمات البر والبحر تدعونه تضرعا وخفيا ask them who rescues you from the darknesses of the land and the sea تدعونه you pray to him تضرعا humbly وخفيا and secretly oh allah you know you are riding a boat there is some storm now Oh Allah, just save me this time. Then you know, I'll be absolutely, I'll mend my ways. I'll do, do nothing wrong. Tadarru'am wa khufya. In your hearts you are calling him. Qul man yunajjikum min zulumati al-barri wal-bahr. Tadru'unahu tadarru'am wa khufya. Layn anjana min hadihi lanakunanna min al-shakirin. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saves us from this, then we should become, you know, very grateful to him. And we should act as grateful people, thankful people. Qul illahu yunajjikum. Tell them, it's only Allah who saves you, who rescues you. Min hawa, min kulli karmin. And from all the distresses that may befall you, summa antum tushtikun. But then, when you are saved, then you start making shirk with him. Then you start calling other gods and goddesses and aliha and manat and laat and uzza. Now you forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and now you are prostrating before other deities. قُلْ هُوَ الْقَادِرُ عَلَىٰ أَنْ يَبْعَصَ عَلَيْكُمْ عَزَابًا مِنْ فَوْقِكُمْ This is a very important ayah. And we must, you know, read in between the lines. Where do we stand regarding this ayah? قُلْ هُوَ الْقَادِرُ عَلَىٰ أَنْ يَبْعَصَ عَلَيْكُمْ عَزَابًا مِنْ فَوْقِكُمْ أَوْ مِنْ تَحْتِ عَرْجُلِكُمْ او يلبسكم شيعا ويزيق بعضكم بعض بعض three modes of punishment in this world say to them he is all powerful هو القادر على ان يبعث عليكم عذابا that he may send upon you he may send upon you a punishment a chastisement from over your heads او من تحت ارجولے کو اور فرام انڈر نیتھ یور فیٹ مائٹ بی دیر از اے بگ ارتھ کویک اینڈ یو نو انڈر یور انڈر نیتھ یور فیٹ فرام دیر دیر عذاب آف اللہ پنشمنٹ آف اللہ از کمنگ اینڈ دی تھرڈ موڈ او یل بے سکم شیعان اور ہی مے تھرو یو ان ٹو کنفیوژن And divide you into sects and groups. Oh, you'll be sakum shi'an. By you see, kabaza kum baza baaz. And taste and make you taste the tyranny of one another. Kill each other. We don't need to send something from the heaven. We don't need to, to bring out something from the earth from underneath your, your feet. If you are fighting each other. It's also the third and the worst form of punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. قُلْ هُوَ الْقَادِرُ عَلَىٰ أَنْ يَبْعَصْ عَلَيْكُمْ عَزَابًا مِنْ فَوْقِكُمْ أَوْ مِنْ تَحْتِ عَرْجُلِكُمْ أَوْ يَلْبِسَكُمْ شِيعًا وَيُزِيقَ بَعْضَكُمْ بَعْصَ بَعْضُ انظر کیفا نصرف الآیات Again the same word, تصریف الآیات Look, O Muhammad صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم How we are using the various and different modes to explain our revelations. لَعَلَّهُمْ يَفْقَهُونَ so that they might understand. وَكَذَّبَ بِهِ قَوْمُكَ وَهُوَ الْحَقِّ Now you look to the decisive style here. وَكَذَّبَ بِهِ قَوْمُكَ O Muhammad صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم Your people have belied this thing, this revelation, this Quran. وَهُوَ الْحَقِّ Although it is the truth, the total truth. So it does mean they have committed the crime. Now they deserve punishment. It's our mercy that we are withholding their punishment up till now. But they have deserved. 
That the punishment should come to you. Well, my wishing is also not decisive. Had it been in my power, the matter would have been settled between you and me long, long ago. This is neither in your power nor in mine. But it is in the hands of Allah. For every news, there is a time fixed. For then you will see and you will know yourself for yourself.